Hello there and welcome to Maths A Level Practice Paper C. Here we're working on question 2, graph drawing question, one of my favourites. So, sketch the graph of y equals 8 to the x, stating the coordinates of any points where the graph crosses the coordinate axes. So, this 8 to the x graph, or any a to the x graph, is a standard graph that I would expect any A level student to be going into an exam knowing. Let's think about 8 to the 0, well that's just going to be the value 1, anything to the power of 0 is a 1. And then let's think as x gets negative, say x to the minus 1, this will give us 1 over 8 due to the law of uh, indices there. If we've got a negative power it's 1 over, so this is going to be 1 over 8, so quite small, quite quickly. Uh, 8 to the minus 2, that would be 1 over 8 squared, and that will be 1 over 64. And you can see here that as x gets more and more negative, it's going to give us a value of 1 over something negative. So that's going to lead it towards the 0 marker. It's never going to be on the bottom half of this graph here. It's always going to be on the top. So we have an asymptote here of y equals 0. As x gets bigger, then x to the 1, that will be 8. As x to the 2, that will be 1 over 64 x8 to the 3, that would be 8 to the 3, that would be just very big. So it will increase exponentially on the curve there. Uh, earlier I said when x was 0, we get the value 1, so we have a coordinate axis intersection here of 0, 1. That's the only axis intersection here. So we get a graph here of y equals 8 to the x. Okay, part B. Uh, looks for us to do some graph transformation. So describe fully the transformation which transforms the graph of y equals 8 to the x to the graph y equals x to the 8 minus 1. So 8 to the x minus 1. So we're going to compare 8 to the x and 8 to the x minus 1. Now what I see here is that if this is our function f of x, then this here is the function f of x minus 1. And we can see here clearly that this is going to be a translation uh, right by 1. Translation right 1. This is one of the standard graph transformations. If this minus 1 was outside the bracket, it would move it down. If it was a plus 1 inside the bracket, it would move it left. If it was a plus 1 outside the bracket, it would move it up. This is a standard graph transformation. OK, so the second part of this question is move the graph of y equals 8 to the x minus 1 to the graph of y equals 8 to the x minus 1 plus 5. So if this here is our graph of f of x, then this here must be our graph of f of x. And the 5 is out on its own. It's not up with the power, so it's outside the bracket of plus 5. This is a translation as well. And seeing as it's outside the bracket, it's in the y-axis direction. And seeing as it's plus 5, it's going to be up 5. Okay, there we are. Four marks in that question.